good morning. <laughs> A quiet morning and I have been awake for a little bit. I woke up at like 7.30, 8, had some phone calls. <sighs> Where did we eat? And when the sun came in really strong, did my skincare and put on my sunscreen because I'm a psycho and it's really important. But anyway, today is the day. We're trading in my old Subaru and we're gonna get a new one. And I'm really excited. But I also have a couple other things I wanna do today before that happens. So it's time to get up and to get ready. I also already took a shower this morning. So I really am ready to go. I just need to get dressed, but I got this ASOS package in the mail and I thought we'd do a quick unboxing try everything on, see what's gonna stay, maybe pick an outfit for today. I ordered a bunch of stuff on sale. I don't think I paid a full price for a single thing. What is going on with this? Let's do it like this. Oh, it's so bright! Just that American sun, because in the UK I've been dealing with, you know, like the cold and the shadows and the clouds and the wind and the rain, and then I come here and it's almost 60 degrees, which is like 18, 19 degrees Celsius. It is clear blue skies, it is sunny, it is so nice. And I don't know, winter should be here by now, but it's not, but I'm not complaining. So one of the first things I ordered was this Adidas tennis skirt. I really wanted one of these from before, and they were, out of stock previously when I tried to find it in shop and it's just so cute I love the little green band um, I want the matching polo I thought about getting a green polo but I don't really wear green so I think the matching like cream colored polo would be so cute and I also got these cute mesh socks you can kind of see they say j'adore Dior I don't know if you guys can see that well at all, but I'll just put my whole hand in it. There we are. Oh, I just love these. They're um, knee highs. So I think they'll look cute over um, my stockings and my tights. As it gets colder, it's just like a little pop of color. And I never, like, people who wear proper color are not going to agree with me when I say black is a pop of color. They're going to be like... What are you saying? But for me, but for me. <laughs> Next we have the sec uh, pair of shoes. I ordered two pairs and these are <laughs> literally like Gucci inspired trickle downs and they're just so stupid but I love them. And I, when I saw them on the site, I just thought I had to have them. I had to. I am a basic ash bitch and look at the, are these not the cutest fucking thing? And on the website, they were a lot more pink and I wasn't sure I was gonna like them, but they're very much like my shade of pink. My bed is the shade of pink. My blanket's the shade of pink. It's like peony pink. It's the same pink as my basket and my phone cords. It's just the perfect shade. These ones I got in a size eight, so I'm hoping they fit. And I love the little details and the little fringe. They're so cute, are, are they not? Are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am a shoe girl, have been a shoe girl my entire life. There's nothing I can do about that. Oh, so I'm very excited to try these on. This is a pleated skirt. And it's um, lace eyelets, which, who is that surprising? No one, like that's, like, <laughs> everybody that knows me is gonna see the skirt and be like, don't you already own this? And yes, I do own something similar to it, but I also wanted this one. So you know what? I think it's gonna be cute. I have no idea what I wanna wear with it though. And then lastly, we have one more pair of shoes. These have been in my ASOS wish list for a minute and they just went on super sale and I just had to nab them. Are they winter shoes? No, not at all. 
can I probably get away with wearing them in this current climate? Warm winter situation that's going on. Yes. Yes, I probably can. How cute is this? I think a lot of the pieces I picked up are very like, I don't know, they're like brown tweed. They're very just like Dior inspired. You can tell they definitely had like that influence. They are like a trickle down, they feel the vibe. But I think these are so cute. These are also a US 8. <laughs> I love the heel height too. Like I think it's a perfect height to just wear around for a bit. Hopefully they're comfortable. They feel like they have a nice soft sole. So let's um, put an outfit together and go do our makeup for now and see what fits. Well, that's a lie. Let me try on um, the skirts and we'll see if they fit because I'm probably gonna be keeping both pairs of shoes. <laughs> okay, so this is the Adidas skirt. I bought the extra large and it actually is quite spacious. I probably could have sized down, but it is comfortable with me at this weight, so if I fluctuate, it should probably fit a size lower, but it will definitely fit if I get a little bigger, and that's nice. It is a little bit sheer. You can see the shorts I'm wearing, like, under it, but it's super cute. Um, the pleats are really subtle. I might have to, like, actually pleat them more. I kind of wish this girl was like this, but I'm going to keep it. This one is also cute. It has like a slip layer to make it a little less sheer. Um, I don't know if I'm in love with it though, but I think I am gonna keep it and just see. Worst case scenario, I will just sell it. I did get it onto for sale. An issue I'm having with this skirt right now though is that it doesn't have any eyelet hooks to like hook it closed. So I might have to take it to my alterations lady and get her put one so that it'll just like stay closed because you can zip it up to the top but then it just slides right back down which is an issue but I think it's cute um I'm not sure I'm just not as excited about this one as I feel about the other one or my shoes but we'll see I did a little bit of makeup I really tried to focus on like pinky tones and like neutrals and just make it like pink and pretty and like subtle if that makes sense um, I'm gonna see if I can sneak in a nail appointment before I go to my car meeting. Um, I'm wearing these earrings. I got them from Korea like years ago, but I only, only, only ever really wear them with this particular dress. Like I used to never wear them. And then I found this dress, which I ordered probably the beginning of pandemic. I think it's just from like Shein or something. It's just like really simple, um, really expensive, but I just love it. It's just gonna be like a, it's a classic. It's a favorite of mine currently. Um, but. When I bought this dress, I just realized that these earrings go perfectly with them. They say nice, <laughs> which is kind of stupid, but I like it. Um, I just did this simple pink hair bow because it's almost the same shade of pink, um, just a little bit more vibrant as the faux Gucci style loafer things, I guess. And then I'm keeping the rest of my jewelry really simple with just this beautiful Swarovski ring I found last year on Black Friday. I think I got it for like $65 which was a steal in my opinion. Um, and then I was going to wear like stockings, like skin colored stockings, but if I can go to the nail part, I wanna sneak in a little pedicure and I can't get a pedicure if I'm wearing my stockings. I have this horrible bruise on my leg. I have no idea where it came from. So it kind of ruins the entire look, a little bit of the aesthetic, but we're gonna live with it. Um, let me go grab my bag. I'm gonna carry this like nudie, peachy, nudie coach, um, bag that I really like I've had for years I bought this one back in Japan sometime um during Sakura season so it was like Sakura pink um and I got a matching wallet and everything but I have been off this bag for a bit so I haven't carried it for a while um and I think it'll just look nice with this I think it'll figure everything out um let's go get that let's head out and I have a couple more calls to make while in the car and I'm thinking coffee and we are also going to go over to the food bank. My sister and I prepped a lot of food that we wanted to donate since before we left, you know, non-perishables, um, but we never really got around to it. So I added some more things to it and I wanna go and donate that to the food bank. Last year during Vlogmas, every day of Vlogmas, I added something new to the bag. 
and then did like a reverse advent calendar and donated it all at once. This year, since I'm not going to be here the entirety of Vlogmas, I'm not gonna be in one place, it's a little harder for me to do, but I still wanted to make a donation this year. Um, a contrib contribution from both my sister and me. So it's a lot of like vegan food, vegetarian food, keto foods, diet special foods, which I think are also necessary to food bank because people also have dietary concerns, right? So we're gonna do that. We're gonna take out the recycling and the garbage and run some errands and then over to our car appointment that I'm actually a little bit nervous about. So fingers crossed that everything goes smoothly. Wee! smiles and the wishes and I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe I just dropped the food off at the food bank or like donated it put it in the barrel for donation and uh, I, it's almost time for my meeting so I think I have enough time to run over to Dunkin' and get myself some cookies. And then we're gonna head over to the dealership. This is like my last little drive with Subaru. And it's like, it's kind of sad. I don't know, like, the Subaru really treated me so well. Subaru is like my first car um, that I've done, really. Like, my mom helped with Subaru, but like, I don't know, it just felt like for real mine. Like. I could do whatever I wanted on the inside, basically. I could have whatever I wanted in it. I chose a bunch of things. I We drove it literally off the lot. Like, I just, and it's crazy that like three years have already gone by with Subu. Subu, the Subaru. Um, but I'm very excited for Tubu because it'll be in the color that I wanted. It'll have some of the upgrades that I wish I had was able to get on this car that they just didn't have available um, for me at the time. So, fingers crossed, again, everything goes good. Give me good vibes, we'll see how this goes. Let's go get our coffee real quick though, because I am... <sighs> Whoa, I didn't even plan that. <laughs> but I am a little tired and could use some coffee. Oh, they say nice. nice. Yeah, they just say nice. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I have to tinkle a little bit. I'm not even going to lie. I'm going in. I think that is too <laughs> All right, so let's go inside and deal with the paperwork, deal with like all the stuff, and yes, we'll see. I'm just waiting now for the paperwork. Then turn my credit, all that kind of stuff. Fingers crossed. <laughs> we have been approved. I just signed a bunch of paperwork. Um, it's going to run, you know, my insurance, my license, all that kind of stuff. Oops. All that kind of stuff for the lease and then I will go back and put down my deposit payment and since I already paid $500 to have this specific car here on the lot whatever um, it's gonna be pretty low and I'm just <laughs> goodbye Subu it's gorgeous Wow. Okay, not much is super, super different, but there are some upgrades, including things like the stitching and the details. Push to start on this one because my last Subu, which is there, was just a more basic model um, because I had, I, they were just, that's what they had on the lot. This one is just a little bit nicer in a lot of aspects. It's like a grade or two above, but it's gonna take a little bit of adjustment um, I really wanted a bow to put on my car, 
Um, but they don't have any bows because they don't have any cars in the lot for the holidays right now. So, no bows. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because I got it! And then the process took a while. I think I was there for about two hours, but it wasn't like a stressful process. Just like them sitting around, but everyone was so personable and nice and comfortable and like talkative. And it was just like, it's just a great environment in there. Um, I also getting a free service in about a month or two when I reach about a thousand miles, they're gonna give it a once over and make sure everything's still running well. Um, and I also have the remote start. So I can start this car from inside my house, which is, going to be amazing like i can't wait i'm gonna drive this over to my abaji's house to let him take a spin at my new Subaru. there's literally four miles on the odometer ah ah moving nimbly did you hear something from the chimney i will keep you warm as soon